Michael McCain is the president and CEO of Maple Leaf Foods. He spoke with us at a strategic capability network event about leading through a crisis. He explained how his company got through the deadly 2008 listeria outbreak. How did leadership at Maple Leaf Foods successfully handle the crisis in 2008? Uh, the Maple Leaf organization has been uh, built over the last 15 years on the basis of a uh, um, on the foundation of a values-based leadership model and uh, we've been very uh, clear uh, about the role that our core values, leadership values play uh, day, every day uh, in the Maple Leaf organization. Uh, but um, it's times like uh, that, the tragedy of what occurred in 2008, when, when your culture and your values become uh, more than the than you know what's uh, seen and discussed on a day-to-day -day basis, they become very real, and I would like to believe that uh, and and do believe that <clears throat> that uh, that our it was our core values that that led us through that uh, difficult uh, situation. Uh, we were uh, accepting of our accountability. Uh, we were very uh, decisive in our action to address the. Uh, challenges and we were transparent and open with the uh, various stakeholders about the what had happened and what we were going to do to uh, correct it. So all of which is to say those elements of, uh, of uh, how we managed through just the most tragic uh, crisis in our history, uh, just incredibly tragic situation by, uh, you know, in every respect, uh, we uh, found some degree of, of um, of uh, perspective on what we should do uh, through that period of time uh, from our leadership values. What are some of the attributes leaders need to navigate a crisis? We describe ourselves as, as passionate people, passionate about food. I think uh, uh, leadership passion is, uh, is probably the dominant uh, personal attribute uh, that, we, that we look for, the people that really care uh, about what they care about, people that are action-oriented, they, they act on what they care deeply about, people that are willing to overcome obstacles and are fundamentally optimistic in the outcome. But high integrity, they do the right thing, their willingness to, to do the right thing. Uh, we like uh, obviously people that, are, that have a you know, commitment to transparency, they're, they're willing to be, uh, daring to be as we describe it because it does take risk. Uh, transparent individuals um, uh, demonstrating you know, both uh, humility and, and passion uh, together. What was HR's role in managing the crisis? Well, I, you know, all of the disciplines in our organization, of which HR is a prominent one, uh, you know, played a significant role. Uh, certainly HR uh, played the role of uh, being the conduit to um, uh, executing any of the people components of, of our of a crisis like that, uh, and they did that incredibly uh, well. Um, but beyond that, I think it was uh, you know our organization had to coalesce from a, from a team perspective all the disciplines, and and they did.